Hi guys and welcome to Reykjavik. We are now in the downtown of Reykjavik and you can see in front of you Halgrimskirke church. It's one of our most famous landmarks and the largest church in Iceland. We are gonna take a little walk down the shopping streets here in Reykjavik. Here we in Skolavardustigur. That's, <laughs> that's quite a name, right? That's one of the main shopping streets. It goes down from the church, so it's very easy to remember. You can just say the, the street that leads to the church. It's full of colorful houses and uh, shops and different cafes. And uh, these houses are some of the oldest ones in Reykjavik. They are made in this traditional style. The timber cladded with corrugated iron and then painted into different color colors, bright colors usually, to create this vibrant feel, which is Reykjavik known for. As you can see, there are not that many people nowadays. Usually it's much, much more busy here. Um, this is one of the remaining <laughs> tourist shops with souvenirs. Many of them have closed down in last year and this year. Uh, because of the pandemic, the tourism stopped and tourism is the main industry, well, was main industry in Iceland. Now all we have is <laughs> fishing and aluminium production. Well, we are really hopeful that uh, the pandemic will be over soon and that the, our guests will come back. Here in front of us is Cafe Babalu, one of my favorite places, and it's actually been running for a while. Uh, Reykjavik is known for quite fast-changing scene for the restaurants and cafes, but Babalu has been for many years, and it's run by the couple from New York. Uh, they have very nice coffee, very cozy atmosphere inside. Here is another place uh, with some traditional Icelandic food. It's called Salka Valka. That's the same name as one of the famous books. Salka Valka, uh, written by Halder Laxness. That's one, the only writer in Iceland who got the Nobel Prize. So he's quite famous. but there is no snow here in Reykjavik. Uh, it, there is actually some snow up north in Iceland and even if you drive just one hour outside the city you can find the snow. But not in Reykjavik. Even when the snow does fall, it does melt very quickly here. Uh, because we have, you can, <laughs> you can name it underflow heating. There is a lot of geothermal natural energy in Iceland. A lot of hot water in the ground because Iceland is a volcanic island and we have over 130 volcanoes. Because of that the ground is very very warm and people learned to harness this energy and now around 99% of all the buildings in Iceland are heated with the natural geothermal water. And not only buildings but the streets as well. Some of the streets like the one we are walking now and we also use it for our famous geothermal pools. There are a lot of open air pools with hot pots and jacuzzis all around Iceland. We use it to grow vegetables in the greenhouses, uh, to grow fish, and for many, <laughs> many more things. Here is one of the most famous music shops, Tolf Tottenhorn. Notes. They also have a cafe inside and a large selection of vinyls. If you are in Iceland, I do recommend visiting it. And we are heading down now to the other shopping street, which is called Loigavegur. These two streets meet. Uh, and uh, the, the downtown of Reykjavik is not very big. It's very easy to just explore it on foot and it's recommended because it's quite hard to drive. A lot of one-way streets. Oh, but besides walking, it's the most popular transportation now. The scooters. This one is called Wind, which is a very appropriate name <laughs> for Iceland because it's very, very windy today as well. 
the scooter is just took over the town in last year. Everyone is using them. It's one of the less expensive transportation. The only other public transport is a buses. We don't have trains, we don't have trams. Oh, you can hear, you can hear now how windy it is. Right? It's a little bit hard to talk. Hope you can hear me well. Here, there is a building site on the right. Uh, it used to be the prison. You can see on the picture now. But there is a lot of construction. Uh, they're trying to preserve it. And there is, it's no longer a prison. Not clear what is it going to be. Probably art gallery. I don't think it's been decided yet. For now they're just uh, restoring it. So the Skolovodr Street is almost over. We are entering the pedestrian only zone and it's very colorful as you can see it's painted in rainbow colors that's usually done every year for the gay pride festival uh, and to brighten up the days <laughs> no because winters in iceland can get very dark so here it is it's very pretty there are a lot of shops here, little cute shops and souvenir shops. I'm just gonna show you some of them a bit close up. Some jewelry and hats here. This is a very famous uh, ceramics artist. She opened her shop here recently. Fish and chips. Fish is always good in Iceland. You, I do recommend it. There are some woolen goodies and muk. Muk means soft in Icelandic. And this coffee shop called Mokka is one of the oldest in Reykjavik. Very popular um, among locals as well. Some more jewelry. Yeah.